Hi girls, it's Help for Girls Like You, and I'm going to be talking to you about your one and only, but not so famous period. Now, your period is just a turning point in your life. Every single woman goes through it, so do not feel like you are alone. Now, you, what your period is basically telling you is that you are fertile and that you are able to have a baby. Now, there are also, before I get too ahead of myself, I did, like my mom did buy me this book. It's the um, Karen Keeping You. Uh, it's the American Girl Doll book, and it does tell you all that you need to know, especially about like what you're going to buy, like if you're going to buy pads, candy liners for your discharge. And it was really helpful to me. Um, see, like your big changes, your period, especially. Um, let me see if I can find the section on the period so I can show you. Um, but you will start noticing that um, you are going, you know that you are starting puberty. When you do notice that you have a little bit more underarm hair, um, you do like have a little bit more of BO, um, your hair gets greasier faster, your skin's greasy, or it's dry. And then another thing that you will also notice is pubic hair. Excuse me. Uh, pubic hair is a hair that is between your thighs, um, like right up here, and it's from your belly, not belly button, like your waist down, if you know what I'm talking about. Basically, it's hair that protects your vagina, which that sounds a little weird, but trust me, it's, you, it's so much easier when you, like it's weird to talk to about it, but it shouldn't be weird. Um... So you will know you've always had pubic hair, but you will notice that it will actually change coarse or darker. Or like, no, I said that wrong. It will change color to be darker, and it will also grow to be more coarse. Now, please, ladies and girls, please, 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 do not shave your pubic hair. It does not matter how itchy it is. It does not matter how you just despise it and you don't want to grow up like you're the first one to start puberty do not shave it it will make it irritated number one it will grow back even faster and thicker and it will be so itchy you will be miserable so with that being said um you will, you will also notice days leading up to your period that your, you know, vagina is a little bit more, like, it's, like, puffy, I guess. Um, I didn't really experience this. Well, I don't really, like, touch my vagina. I don't know if you do. I hope not. But, like, it'll be, like, bloated, I guess. And, like, when you touch it, it's soft. Like, um, I don't know. That's, like, kind of weird. But, anyway, um, and then also your boobs will be, like, around the nipple, it will be very, very tender. Um, so it's nothing to be ashamed of, girls, and, um, it's a turning point every, in every lady's, in every girl's life. Um, so if you have had discharge in your underpants for about a year, year or two years, your period is coming. Um, I actually had discharge in... Uh, for about two years before I started my period, and I was like, oh my goodness, usually it's just six to eight months. What's up? Am I wrong? And no, I was not. I was actually completely healthy, and I was so worried about it. Like, I worried myself sick. Um, but you can easily, you cannot make the discharge stop, but you can make it a little bit more comfortable by wearing panty liners. Panty liners are thin, but they don't, are like thin pads, ultra thin pads, except they do not have any, um, like protection. The only thing it helps is not to get your underwear wet. But if you do wear them too long, it will seep through. So it is important that you do change them, um, around two to three hours, two to, two to four, I would say. But if I wear a panty, when I wore panty liners, I usually, um, would change it every two hours. Um, just because I do not like the wet feeling, um, but, um, 
I did use the U by Kotex tween. I thought those were the most comfortable for me. Um, but they are. I definitely do like those, and I definitely do recommend them for girls. And especially when you are on, like, when you have had your period, and then, like, you're off your period. I definitely, like, that's, like, what I actually wear. And if I had one to show you, I would definitely show you. Um, but I haven't actually been shopping in about two months. So I actually used my last one, I think, yesterday or the day before. So I do have to get some more. Um, but the products that I use are the U by Kotex. Um, and I do feel like they, like, are for, like, younger girls who have started their period. And, um, I will tell you that I have had my period twice. So I'm actually kind of new. And around, like, this last time that I had it, I actually was, like, you know, because I, you know, go to the lake or the pool. And I was so scared because I was going on vacation. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I don't, I do, I'm so scared about using a tampon. And so I was freaking out, and I was just jittery, and I could not stop, and I just, I, I did not know what to do. And I, the first time I did try, I did do it wrong, and, um, but it, trust me, girls, it's nothing to be afraid of, because it's super, it's super easy. Um, but I definitely would recommend, uh, like, your mom showing you, or even if you're uncomfortable with your mom, uh, this, the, the caring and keeping of you book definitely does show you how to do it. Um, let me see if I can get it real fast. It does show you, like, how to insert it. I'm not going to keep it there very long because, like, there may be perverted guys out there who are watching this. Um, but anyway, um, when you are on your period, um, you will experience something uh, like some mood swings, uh, which that is called PMS. Let me see. I can't remember what it stands for. I just had it, though. Um, I can't not remember. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, but it's so normal. I th think, um... I'm sorry, I can't find it right now. But anyway, it's so normal because I know I go through mood swings. Like, I'll be so happy one minute and then I'll be crying over nothing. Or, like, someone will be asking me a question and I will get so angry and I'm like, just go away. Like, I don't, I don't want to be touched. And I definitely know that it's not the easiest thing to go through. But you will survive. Um... Another thing that is so that will help cool you down is if you take a warm, like a hot bubble bath, and you just lay in there for about 15 minutes, you will definitely just feel so much better. And um, especially it will help you if you're having cramps. Um, and then to help keep track of, um, of all your periods, um, it's so easy to do a calendar. And I was actually looking at calendars the other day at Walmart, or in Target, I went to Walmart and Target, and they were all expensive. And I was like, I'm not paying $20 for a calendar. So I came up with a uh, method, or not a method, a um, little do-it-yourself calendar, and here, I'll go get it so I can show you. It's really cute. I actually did it to match the colors of my room. Um, so all it is is a piece of paper, contact and contact paper, and it's dry erase marker. And so as you can see, like Thursday, the 27th of June, is when my period starts. And then July 1st is when it ends. I have a dot and then I have a heart. And when my sister asks, what's the heart for? Well... I can easily say, oh, I'm actually, that's actually, um, that's my favorite number. 27 is my favorite number. And so I thought that I would put a heart on the 27. It should be, oh, okay. And then the dot of, on July 1st is so, is, is barely there, you can't even see it. So, or, like, even if you, like, 
put like dots like around the numbers like in a different color it's so easy um but how you make that is so easy all you do is fold like for the like actual calendar things all you do is like just fold it into like 16 squares and you cut those out and then you do another 8 or another 16 so they're all the same um but it's super it's either 8 or 16 I can't remember because I haven't I did it I think a couple weeks I did it last week so I can't actually remember um but it really is like it did help me like keep track of everything and um but anyway so like I said your period is totally normal and I'm definitely here for you if you need help um please do not be afraid to ask questions I promise I will be like your sister um I'm not going to judge you at all I just want to know your concerns because from one girl to another I know exactly what you're going through um I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching the video um and if you don't want to leave a comment then you can email like if you're too scared to leave then you can email me at help for girls like you uh, at gmail.com and if that helps please do not be afraid because I do appreciate all of my fans and viewers um, so if I get up to a hundred subscribers I definitely I will show my face in, a vi in the videos from now on but um, until then I'm going to stop I'm not going to show my face um, it's not that I'm insecure or anything, I'm just, I don't feel like showing my face, and, um, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for viewing, and God bless.